Hello everybody, my name is Darling or Keaton and welcome back to another video. Another Creative Sim video. Um, today we are doing Poppy from My Sims. She is the sister of Violet Nightshade. So she's like the polar opposite. She loves flowers. She loves all things cutesy and not like Violet who likes everything goth. Um, so I'm not sure if her last name is Nightshade, but her name is Poppy. Um, she has a little flower shop in My Sims. In My Sims Kingdom, I'm not sure what she does. I think that she's like on a castle island or something, now that I think about it. I watched like a whole YouTube video on a song replaying it because I missed it so much. But yeah, she's just a cutesy little girl. I really wish that I had the, the Violet Sim I made, but I had to reset my game so I lost all my Sims, unfortunately. Um, so then they would have been kind of similar. And then I could have just done her outfit and everything, but I lost all of it, so um, she's a little bit different. I do, I don't know, I think I do a lot of the same things regardless, just because of how my sim style is. Um, and I did use a different skin this time. I've been trying different things, I don't know what I like anymore, of course, of course. Um, I do like to keep things Maxis on my channel because I think a lot of people prefer that. Um, and would rather download things that are Maxis match. I kind of feel the same way because in my game I do like a lot of things that are more similar to the game style. But on my Instagram I do a lot of alpha stuff just because I think it it's more stylish if that makes sense. Not that Maxis can't be stylish but alpha does have some really good things. Um, but I do, I don't think she, I use a Northern Siberia skin which I don't usually use anymore. Um, so I was feeling inspired by JG, um, and she's another YouTuber that I love a lot, and I just, she used that skin all the time, so I had to. I haven't used it in such a long time. I used to use it all the time, um, but then I, I changed. I change a lot now. I don't know what I like anymore, like I said, but I do use different eyes, too. I was feeling dangerous. I did make her one time, and I didn't like it. She was too, like, slay and not, like, true to her actual character so I made that sim trashed her and then had to find CC that was more true to her character which is just like denim um overall dress basically is what I was looking for um and I did find one it's not as slay as I would like it to be but it's you know it's true to her character I think and of course I wasn't gonna have like the same pigtail kind of are they, are they still pigtails I guess they are but I did more of a realistic one rather than such a cartoony one, and I think she's super cute. I used to be a patron of, um, Ahub. Is that how you say it? Ahub? I used to be a patron of hers because I like the hairs. I just never use them. So I have a bunch of her hairs. I just never use them. But finally I did because I am very much a pigtails girl. Like, in real life, I wear pigtails all the time. I just feel like it's more practical for my line of work. I don't know if that makes sense, but it's just like the easiest hairstyle for me. So I, any pigtails hair, I download immediately. But her outfit, I think is pretty accurate. I had to find some kind of messenger bag as well. A lot of it was kind of glitching with the outfit or her body type or something. I wasn't sure. So I just picked one that's black. I know it's not actually true to her character, but that's all I could do. And her outfit, of course, isn't exactly similar, but I thought it was very true to what her true character is, if that makes sense. Um, I have been struggling a lot with shoes, and her shoes on her My Sims character are, like, brownish, but I end up doing a black. But they have, like, cute flower embellishments or embroidery on them, so I thought it was perfect for her character. And the combo with the socks is perfect, that's exactly what she has in My Sims. So I thought the outfit was pretty accurate. Um, as far as makeup goes, I am not the best at makeup. I do struggle a lot with it. And I usually do the same stuff every single time because it is really hard for me. I feel like it really can ruin a sim. So I usually just do neutral stuff. Um, which I end up doing on her. I actually do like a yellow, I think, surprisingly. I just turn the saturation or opacity down. But yeah, she's super basic. She's a very light, light makeup girl, I would think, because she's not really about that. She just wants to have her flower shop, um, as opposed to Violet, who is the opposite, who would have like a full beat and heavy makeup and 
you know, she's got a lot going on on her look. The one thing I will say is I didn't know where to incorporate flowers because she is poppy. Like she needs to have a flower. Um, and I couldn't have like the flower clips that she has in her hair in my Sims. So I had to do like a necklace or um, earrings. So I opted for earrings and I think they're by Clumsy Alien. Um, there was like a big poppy, like actual poppy earring, but I felt like it was too much, too much for her character. Um, I don't think that she would wear them. So I chose something smaller. Um, I think they're still poppies, but uh, they're smaller. So the big ones would have been cute though. So I also did switch my G shade for this. I'm using Melixa's Terra Milk Tea, which is recent, recently new, I think. I did reblog it on Tumblr. It's like a lot lighter and paler than what my usual gameplay looks like. So I wanted just something, a little ch a change of pace than my super saturated and dark game. Let me know what you think of it. I'm not sure if I like it. I've just been changing it around. I don't know what I like anymore. Um, but I usually do like more of a glowy, uh, saturated and dark look. I've always kind of been that way. But I don't know. Well, I don't know what I feel or how I feel anymore. But if you are feeling burnt out from The Sims 4, you should always play My Sims. I To talk about it in the first video, I think this will be a series on my channel just because I have such a strong connection with the game. I think it's fun to recreate them in The Sims 4. Play those games. They are so good. If you're burnt out from Sims 4, play My Sims or Sims 3 or Sims 2 and you'll love, you'll learn to appreciate Sims 4 a little bit more, I think which maybe doesn't make sense because they are better games, but <laughs> I don't know. It's just fun to go back and forth from them. And that is a problem with going back to Sims 3 because Sims 4 does run so smoothly in comparison to any other game. I mean, Sims 2 isn't that bad actually, but Sims 3, it is hard to make that jump. That being said, I would like to play Sims 3 on my channel, but it is incredibly hard to go back from having such a smooth game in Sims 4 to Sims 3, especially when you have like, I have a decent computer and I was like, oh my God, I can't wait to play Sims 3 on this. And it still is like laggy. So it's whatever. I think it's just something that is going to be inevitable with Sims 3, despite all the fixes and anything you can do to help make the game run smoother. It's just something that's going to happen. Um, you can't really, you can't fix it. Um, it's just inevitable, but yeah, I really have been craving it recently and I do want to start uploading a lot more. I always say that, but I'm trying to aim for a video a week or two videos a week. I'm not sure yet. I am in the works of another one, but I'm not sure if I'll upload it. It's actually a building video. That's why I'm a little bit nervous about it, but I had a good time. It's just, I do it in between like, I do a lot of dog sitting. So when I come home, I try to do a little bit of something to either put on Instagram or or my YouTube channel. So I don't know, trying to be more consistent, especially since I don't have school right now. I think this is the perfect time and I have been getting a lot of, a lot of love. So I'm very happy about that. I just gotta stay consistent, you know? But yeah, I think I'll cut off the voice recording right now and let you enjoy the rest of the look. Um, I do a little, 360 at the end so you can see the whole outfit. It's nothing too crazy, but I do think she is super cute, innocent, and kind of cutesy how she's supposed to be. I think I stayed true to her character, and I do wish she was a little bit more vibrant, but I just don't think that's in my nature to do, but it's whatever. She's just supposed to be the opposite of Violet, <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy, and play the My Sims. Let me know if you play it. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day and a great rest of your week. Thank you.